Hello fellow gamers, today we're going to teach you how to make an event. It's not hard, it's really easy, uh, and really anyone can do it. So we'll start out on the event page, and for that you just go to our group on Temple. There's a few ways to do that, we can always go groups, and because we're featured and we paid that tiny bit of money, right there at the bottom of the list, there we are. You can also go to your username, and we paid for this too, bam, takes you right to it. So, to get started, what we will do is go to competitions, and what I like to do is open two of them. So I middle mouse button there to open that in another tab, you can also do that. A ton of options, it's not hard. So let's go to the first one. The meows voted on mining, so mining. That's not the W. And we'll come down here and we'll find it. Of course, the drop down is not displaying, but when you click overall here, it creates a pop up drop down. And that has everything that can be tracked. So feel free to open that up and have a look one day. But for now, I clicked mining. You'll just have to imagine it for it. We're a day late, so we'll set the day back by one. And if you read here, the server time is in UTC. So in the Eastern Standard, that's four hours behind. In daylight savings time, that's five hours behind. So here we'll type 0400. So that means this event would start on the 16th at midnight, my time. You can also use a pop-up menu through here. Same thing for that. Both are not being captured for some reason. So down here, because we like to do one event for the first half of the month and one for the second, we'll use the drop-down since... July has 30 days. I mean, June has 30 days. July has 31. And we'll do 04, 00 again. So if we did that, it would end on the 30th at midnight. We want it to end on the 1st at midnight. So that would take it all the way till the 30th at 11.59. So we've named it. We've selected a skill. We've chosen times. And this mother. And this uh, one right here. Since we hit create competitions on the group page, it auto imported all the users. So all we gotta do, scroll all the way through that. Scroll, scroll, scroll. You could technically put a group key in here now, but that's used when editing it. And you would need the group key from a key, uh, if something needs edited, just approach a key. And once we hit submit, we will get this nice page with all the info needed to edit this event. So we will take that, copy it, and we'll put it in the login channel. You don't need to see that part. I think you know how to use Discord. So take that, put it in logging. So if anyone needs to edit it, it's available. And we will go right to the competition page, and we're going to put this in our little note. Now, note, I'm making this event a little bit later. But also note that it did backtrack everyone's XP. Because it'll because Temple saves data points for each and every time it's updated. And it saves it with a date. We can backtrack events. And I can actually show you how that pays off such as on our cleanup events. So, for now I gotta edit my note really quick. I've already put in the emojis and everything that I'll be posting to the event channel. And I'm gonna give you guys a template for what I put in, and that's easily edited. Yeah, so I've added that to the Discord thing. We'll leave this and do it again really quick so you can see how it works. But really quick, I just wanted to show you how it can backtrack 
users. So if it ever loads. So if I go over to competitions. said to get fucked for some reason that did not carry in so I may have to share that key with people or you could always just submit it to us and we'll edit it afterwards to add the key but if you look here in the cleanup this is an event I made like a, a couple weeks ago and I backtracked it all the way back to the beginning of the year or well three or four months ago and then used it to track and find users to remove. As you can see here, these were all people I checked to see if they had gotten any XP and then removed them. You see a bunch of people here losing their ranks and stuff in XP as they fall off the high scores. Those are the ones you got to really investigate each one, one by one. And then we can see a ton of zeros here. These are people who have gotten no XP in six months or however long I set it back. And if you notice, they're still getting updated. That's because I run that script. So 18 hours ago, this one was updated when that script was ran last, which I include in every post. It's up to you whether you want to. Um, so there's that one. So let's create another one. Then instead of choosing a skill, I'll find the KVD in the list here. And you see how easy and quick that was just using the key points. And then everything imports here. And same thing, I would hit submit and copy that into the logging channel and go to the URL and put it into our stuff. Done and done. 